There is, in fact, no such thing as one Europe. I think we've established this already. Um, it's quite a diverse uh, geography and a diverse economy. Uh, I am happen to have a German passport, so without uh, wanting to uh, have too much of a, a home bias and being patriotic, I mean, Germany is certainly the economic engine of Europe. Everyone knows that. That's really um, uh, obvious. Uh, given the uh, decision to do whatever it takes to save the Eurozone and therefore flood the market late uh, in terms of um, uh, the um, central banks, uh, and Mr. Draghi and the European Central Bank and now do everything to actually have a, a cheap euro. This competitive devaluation of currencies, which we see with the Chinese, with the with the Japanese yen, we we see this um, this uh, advantage for an export-driven economy. So Germany is certainly on the winning side um, in the current situation. Uh, peripheral Europe um, is slowly recovering, so it, it is really a quite kind of a mixed bag. But I think in terms of the overall fundamentals, we've heard this before. Uh, things are improving. Uh, similar to the cycle, which I think we need to bear in mind when we talk about the current situation looking forward, the, the 2007-8 uh, situation, uh, then also Europe was two, four years behind. Uh, prices haven't kind of risen as much. Pro markets haven't heated up as much as they have in the UK, for example, in Germany. So there are interesting parallels, which I think are exciting to watch. But uh, for the time being, uh, we don't know what the next black swan is. Uh, <laughs> If we knew it wouldn't be a black swan, it wouldn't be a surprise, it wouldn't be a shock. So it looks looks stable for the time being. And actually, interest rate rises, we heard this before also, um, they don't scare people that much in, in Europe, I must say. I mean, um, in certain markets, we have oversubscriptions uh, for core prime deals. They were 10 times, 10 to 1, 11 to 1. Now, if that drops back to 2013 levels where it's only 6 to 1, uh, so what? Or 7 to 1. I think uh, this is a pretty stable environment, hence the, the international the global demand for European real estate. But you have to differentiate.